What is up my friends? And yes, it's finally here. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 for the Mac. This game has only been out for two days now and I have it ported over using wineskin and of course you guys will be able to get, get it too. So I'm gonna right now just show you a little bit of survival mode gameplay and then I'm gonna show you how to work your way around the wrapper, get some uh, graphics all sorted out. Make it work. Make sure it works the best. So let's get started. Let's skip these uh, intros. Hopefully, you guys will see them. Ah, my mouse has disappeared. Hold on, let me let me try running this one more one more time. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So this is what I was hoping for. When it says run in safe mode, you always want to click no because then it'll try to change your settings to like the stupid default settings, which are just crappy. So there you go. Got the mouse. Alright, immediately, if you can hear this, listen to the sound, it sounds a bit fuzzy, that's just for the title screens, immediately when you get in game it's going to be fine. Another thing is your name, as you can see right here, it's reloaded, reloaded. Um, you're just going to have to deal with that, unless you find a way to change it, I couldn't. So let's start off on survival, I'm just going to play the first map, Resistance. I have, so, well, I'm going to start off by saying I have a four different preset graphic modes low, normal, high, and ultra um, I'm set on high right now just to give you a little heads up but I'm gonna go a lot more depth with that in a second so immediately you can see this is Modern Warfare 3 it's a little loud, let me turn it down so Hopefully you can see, graphics look pretty damn nice, if I do say so. Um, now this is only the high setting. It can get much higher. I just, it just, it takes a lot to uh, run on the highest setting, so. Yeah, you're just gonna kinda have to do with this. All right, decent round. Not my best. So, pretty much everything is fully functional, all the buttons work, it's survival mode, hopefully you guys, I mean, you probably know a bunch about this already, but, so you can buy some guns, Let's see what, yeah, I don't really want any of those, well, maybe we'll buy the MP5, trade in my pistol for it though, let's buy the MP5, why don't we, alright, let's go back to the model, models are fun to use. So, survival mode, pretty simple at the moment. Um, geez, where, where is this still going? Yeah, it gets a little bit more challenging as you go along, but I'm not really talking too much about the game itself. Um, so, with this port, you can play all of Spec Ops, rank all the way up to uh, level 50. You can play through the campaign fully, whatever difficulty or not. So you see the game's kind of, it's not, it doesn't have any like glitches or anything, but at times it can be a little bit choppy. This is only because I'm using a screen recording program right now, and with it, you know, things are just going to be moving a little bit slower. But normally, I mean, this thing is just blazing fast. So much fun. All right. So I'm going to go into the options right now, show you a little bit about what all we have. Any of these, these black things that you see right here, I know I'm in game so it won't let me change them, but when you're out of game it will let you change them, but I'm telling you, don't change them. The game will crash and then your settings will become all messed up and you'll have to like restart it and all. These white things, you can go ahead and change. So they don't make a difference, but like shadows and bullet impacts and all those, well, any of them, you can turn them on. It'll make the game run ugh, significantly slower, so it's not really necessary to have them on, but if that's just your thing and you want to put them on, then go for it. Um, I personally haven't turned off because I could care less and the game runs a little bit smoother with them off. But, so, yeah. I'm going to just play one more quick round here, and I'm going to go explain the uh, wrapper a little bit more. Oh, the dogs. The guys are just sometimes so... Just quick. 
They're not that hard, actually. I'm kind of overreacting. <laughs> Um, as of right now, no multiplayer, sorry about that. I'm sure that there is a way to get it working in the near future, but, and, oh, I did not see that one guy. See, these dogs, almost like an Anya, you just, they're saying Anya and just like, ah, little guys. Um, so, I would... This is a very early stage of this rapper, or the game, I guess I could call it that. Um, Treyarch, or, why do I keep Not Treyarch. Infinity Ward hasn't released any updates, uh, performance updates yet. And this is also an early rapper, like I said, so they're going to be constantly cranking out, or I'm going to be cranking out a lot more of them. So you're going to definitely want to check back the links, the link in the description to keep seeing the updated version um, so yeah especially when Infinity War releases uh, performance updates alright so this is like really important um, so this is how you change the settings for Modern Warfare 3 on Mac back click show package contents and then you got all this good stuff um, if you follow this green path, it just basically goes, I'm going to click try to see, skip some stuff, but, um, if you follow the green path, it pretty much takes you to where all the files are, and Players 2 is where everything is. This is, this config file is pretty much the graphic stuff. I wouldn't mess with it unless you specifically know what you're doing. Um, and the stat files, and... The IW files, I can't find them right now. But those are, yeah, they're there. These are your settings and like your progress in campaign and survival mode. So I wouldn't mess, wouldn't mess with really anything here. All right, so we're gonna go back, close out of that, show package contents. You're gonna click this blue folder. It says graphics quality changer. Also, I recommend reading this readme file before that. It just pretty much explains what I'm about to say. So right here you've got low, normal, high, and ultra. So for low settings, it's pretty low. It's 10, ooh, excuse me, 1040 by 720p. Um, all those things that I showed you, they were pretty much all turned off for really slow machines with only 128 megabytes of VRAM. And I'm gonna explain that. So to know how much video RAM you have or VRAM, you wanna click this Apple, everyone's got them. About this Mac, more info. Now, if you're on Lion, you'll see this. If you're on um, Snow Leopard, I think you have to click something else. I can't exactly remember. But then you'll go down to this graphic spot. See it right there. 512 megabytes of video RAM. You guys will mostly, most likely have 256. And some of you will have 128, which is bad. So just make note of that. Something to remember when you're just dealing with Mac games and stuff, you always want to know how much uh, video RAM you have. So for low, I mean, it's pretty low settings, so I wouldn't really try to go there. Um, normal is actually not really the normal. The default is high, which is what I was just playing on. So pretty much when you start the game, if you decide not to do any of this, you'll get it right on high um, because it's probably the most general. But if you don't like that, and if it's a little slow, then I put a medium between low and high, which is just normal. Um, and that's pretty much for people with 256 megabyte cards. High is from 256 to 512. It definitely runs on 512, which is what I have, and it runs great. Um, it just depends on if you want to tolerate it with 256, if you can take it. And Ultra, I mean, it's really crazy. It's beautiful, but it takes like 512 and up to run those. So what you do if you want to change the quality, like I said, default is high. Say we want to put it on normal. You go inside the normal folder, whatever you want, and there's this config file here. Pretty much all you do is exactly what it says. It says put config file here. Move the file to the folder and click replace. That's all you do. There you go. So that's pretty much all, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to... Uh, Follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the YouTube, like this video, please, 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 please buy it, then you can get multiplayer. Modern Warfare 3 for Mac.